Alex Weaver standing here with Executive Vice President Steve O'Donnell following the Daytona 500. It's the Super Bowl of our sport, but it was the next-gen debut on track. General thoughts and takeaways from watching this race. Yeah, incredible finish. Um, really great racing all day long. You know, you start out thinking, okay, are the cars even going to make it out there? How are they going to perform? Uh, what's going to happen? Are they going to be safe in an incident? All those things played out. Uh, really proud of the entire industry coming together and then seeing how the cars competed at the end was wild. Uh, a lot of fun and I think just as a race fan, uh, really entertaining and uh, hopefully the fans enjoyed it as well. One thing that we all like to see is these drivers getting out of the car safely and walking away on their own means. But this was the first time that we've seen these next gen cars handle these big wrecks and especially on a super speedway. What do you think? Yeah, all in all performed really, really well. Um, we'll go back and digest a lot of that with the race teams. But I think not only the, the lack of debris, you know, that's coming off that we've got to clean up from a wreck, but, you know, no oil spills, which have historically taken a long time to clean up in the race. So really proud of that. Um, and then we'll talk to the drivers. What did they feel? What did they see? And how can we make improvements as we go forward? Cautions early on regarding the wheels. Notebook, what does that look like with the wheel issues? Yeah, I think for us, really too early to tell. Um, we'll go back and look at the pit stops. This was the first time we had live pit stops. It's the Daytona 500, a lot of pressure. So we'll see what happened, um, if there's anything we can learn and pass along to the teams, or if we need to make adjustments for California, we'll go ahead and, and we'll do that as well. You mentioned California, finally. What are the next steps for this next gen car and to make sure that it's ready for different types of racetracks? Yeah, you know, we've prepared for a long time. Uh, we debuted it on a bull ring. We've been on a super speedway. Uh, we're anxious to get back to the fans out in California. We haven't been there in a while. So for us, it's going to be exciting to see, you know, who's got that intermediate package potentially dialed in and, and who can get a leg up on the entire industry. Steve, I appreciate the time. These next gen cars will head to Fontana.